In this video, I'm sharing how to upcycle some of your leftover fall items into beautiful new Christmas decor that will fit perfectly into your home. Hey guys, today I'm bringing you a really fun video which is a little bit more of a challenge for myself because I wanted to bring you some creative ideas where you can use up some of your leftover fall supplies as well as uh, make over some of our fall DIYs so that you will be able to use them into your Christmas decor this year and not have to store them all away. Don't leave without hitting that big thumbs up button and make sure you are subscribed. For the first project, I'm going to be using some of these little LED leaf lights that I picked up at Dollar Tree, and there's 10 lights on here, and I wanted to use them with some of these jingle bells. Uh, these come in a pack of nine, so I did end up having to use another one that I already had, um, so you will need two sets of those if you make this. And then um, all of the leaves were just pretty much off of these lights whenever I got them out of the package, so I'm glad that I didn't use them for fall anyways, or you might have had to have glued them back on. So the first thing that I want to do is uh, try to make these bells look a little bit more rustic. You've seen me do this before if you've been around for a while. Uh, I love just taking the shininess off of these bells to make them fit a little bit better into my Christmas decor. So I'm taking some of my truffle brown chalk paint and I'm just going to dab this all over the bell just to kind of dull down the shininess. If you're not going for rustic Christmas decor this year, you can definitely just leave them as they are. You also might could dab a little bit of white on there and that might just give them a little bit of extra contrast and make them pop out a little bit more. So I thought it would look weird if I took these rustic looking bells and I just attached them to this clear a plastic looking LED string of lights so I just didn't think that they would blend in well together so I decided to wrap the lights with a piece of jute string because jute string looks a little bit more rustic and farmhousey to me so uh, whenever you wrap it in there it just finds a way to tie it all together So I was just going to feed these little lights through the bells and you can tell that it does not fit like it is. So uh, I tried to take a little screwdriver and try to push a little hole down in there and this did work but I ended up messing up the front a little bit so I had to bend that back. But I find out um, after trying a couple of these that uh, the scissors work way better if you just uh, kind of twist the end down in there and it does open up enough of a space that I can just put a light down there. And then I did want to just add a tiny bit of hot glue um, and this may even work better if you have like a cooler hot glue gun. I was just nervous about getting the lights really hot but um, I tried to cool it off as quick as I can and then you can see I am trying to straighten that bell back up but the jute string also helps to hold the lights down into the glue. You can always add more to this garland if you don't like it plain like this. I was just going to wrap this around some of my little trees that I have uh, just to make them fit into my farmhouse decor a little bit more. But you could take some uh, fabric. That would be fun to take some like gray and white buffalo check fabric and cut it into strips and kind of tie it in between. But here I put in some batteries and you can tell that it just really lights up and gives it a really pretty effect. I also like they they are kind of like the blue cool lights. So this will go really cute whenever it is lit up at night. So I try to show you what it looked like with the lights off and then on. And I feel like it does look really rustic. Like I say, you can add in some um, fabric in between or maybe even some of the little Christmas twist ties. Hey. 
For this next project, I'm going to be using the three jars on this little stand that I made back in fall. Um, and I know a lot of you all sent me photos of you all making this. So I thought it would be fun to take one of my popular crafts and try to make that over into a Christmas decor. So this was setting like on a little shelf in my kitchen and uh, it is holding together really well. The only thing is these little paper ends tried to peel up from the uh, wooden sign that they were glued to. So I just glued those back down. But the rest of it actually seemed to be holding together really nicely so I just left it as is. And uh, I think the black and white buffalo check base still fits into my Christmas decor really nicely. So I'm going to leave all of that as is. Also this color green I think will look beautiful with my Woodland Rustic Christmas. And um, it just all kind of goes together really nicely. Obviously the orange pumpkin doesn't fit as well as these fall flowers. And I was going to mention if you hadn't made this or if you haven't seen the other video, it is just two Dollar Tree signs put together and then I painted the top and then painted these jars. So it's definitely easy to figure out. I'll link the original craft down below if you want to go check that out. But to make this over, I got rid of the flowers and then I tried to remove just the orange pumpkin, but I couldn't do that so I had to end up ripping off the entire bow so I do want to make a new little jute string bow and then I'm gonna hang some little bells um, from that Dollar Tree also has these little bells or these are large bells that don't have that snowflake um, on the bottom of them so I thought it would be fun to mix it up. I started with two and then I ended up adding three jingle bells to this string and then I did the same thing by adding the truffle brown paint and then just glued them on the front of these jars. And then to upgrade my flowers from the fall flowers, I'm just using a selection of Dollar Tree slash Walmart uh, picks and greenery. These ones with the pine cones came from Walmart and these red berries came from Dollar Tree. And then the um, Dollar Tree also has picks that are similar to those. So you definitely could make this a total Dollar Tree DIY. My Dollar Tree just sells out really fast. So I go ahead and pick up extra greenery from Walmart. But I am loving how it looks whenever I got it all made over and it is going to go perfect with this year's Christmas decor. And then I had a ton of these fall little yard stakes left over. I used them on a few projects, but I had a few left over, so I really wanted to use one up and be able uh, not for these to go to waste. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is sanding off all of the glitter that was on the top sign. You have to make sure that you not only get all the glitter off, but you do go ahead and continue to sand a little bit because I guess they put glue for the glitter to stick and it will show through whenever you paint over this. But I am going to be doing a lot of dry brushing and different layers of paint, so I wasn't worried about getting it perfect. I wanted to be able to dry brush this and distress it so I'm needing a nice thick base coat and I went with this truffle brown paint. I want this sign to be really neutral and farmhouse so I want um, the white to be over like another neutral color so I just went with brown but you also could do like the elephant color gray would be pretty and I did do a couple coats of this just to make sure that all of those bright colors are going to be covered and just make sure that any of the underneath pictures or uh, words aren't going to be showing. So I was going to just paint my sign and leave it like it is, but then um, the more that I looked up like North Pole signs uh, to get inspiration, I kept seeing all of them had arrows, so I thought it would be really fun to attempt that with this sign, and it really worked out great. I'm using a pair of old scissors so that I don't ruin any of my new ones, but I was able to, with a little bit of uh, force, I was able to cut through and make the perfect little triangle on each end, so it does look like these are just little signs that are pointing in opposite directions. Get about the other. 
lovers, let's escape the silence together. Just say the word. I don't know when we'll get there, but we're still young. So I'm wanting uh, each one of these little arrows to look like rustic boards, like they are weathered wood, but I also am going to be kind of needing a white background so that I can write and my words will show up really nice and bright. So I thought it would be a cool effect to kind of dry brush all over so that the edges um, are going to be really nice and pretty. And then I'm going to add a lot more of the white in the center, kind of in the arrow shape. And I didn't worry about getting this perfect because I will be able to take my sandpaper and kind of blend it all in. But this will give me the perfect little blank canvas so that I can put my little words and pictures on the sides. By using the sandpaper, I'm adding a little bit of texture into my paint to make it look more realistic, and then it also lets a little bit of the edges show through. I try to do this very gently so it looks realistic, but I didn't want any of that yellow or lime green color shining through. I thought at first I would use the Dollar Tree stencils to add little pictures on each end of the arrows and then I remembered these really cool little wooden stickers and I thought it would be really neat if they were kind of the 3D look. So originally I thought that I would use um, these three but I ended up using an extra tree and then leaving off the present. I wanted to try that same effect I used on the wooden snowflake stickers in a couple videos back but I kind of had stained it by using a little bit of paint and water and I just did not like how bright red this uh, little present came out so I ended up not using that one. But I love how the other two came out using the truffle brown paint and water for the snowflake and then using some of the moss green color along with some water as well. I really couldn't find anything that I would like for the top little arrow to add a little picture or embellishment to that. So I ended up making my own with another one of those Christmas twist ties and the little green garland. Um, I used some just red plaid ribbon. I made a super simple little bow by tying it with a piece of jute string and then I added some little pine cones from the Dollar Tree on top of there. Oh, and I forgot to mention that I did take some of my white chalk paint and I added a ton of that to the top of this little garland tie to make it look like a little flocked tree. So you have several different options to add the words onto these little signs. You could use the wooden letters from Dollar Tree or Walmart, as well as cut uh, out vinyl words from a Cricut or Silhouette machine. I do own a Cricut. I just like to show you all very inexpensive, easy ways without using expensive machines. But um, you can also just print words off of the computer. That's what I did here. I cut them out and then put them how I want them on the sign. And then I'm able just to shade on the back and then transfer that by tracing over the front. After I have the perfect little pencil stencil traced out from tracing my letters, I then just fill them in with a black sharpie paint marker and this is just so perfect and easy to get uh, the best looking letters in my opinion. I continue to do that for each sign and then I'm just going to glue down my little wooden uh, stickers. I loved layering the dark brown on top of that little green and then I needed this sign to stand up and I, you could definitely put this in a pot and I originally thought that I would put this in like a little Dollar Tree planter with some rocks so that it would kind of stand up or I thought about using the stand that I used on my little uh, three stacked pumpkins that I used outside. 
but I have these little blocks. I actually picked these up from Hobby Lobby in a pack, so they are around three or four dollars after I used my coupon. Uh, they were in a large pack, but uh, you could definitely use scrap wood or find two smaller pieces from Dollar Tree that you could kind of sandwich this in, and I just think that this was just um, an easy way to get like a small base, but it would be able to stand up. So I hot glued this stake down in between each of these and it really did hold really nicely so I'm glad that is what I went with but there are several options if you don't like this way. But here is what it looks like all put together. I think it looks so good and it's definitely something that I would see out shopping. I don't think that you can tell that this is made from a $1 yard steak from Dollar Tree. for joining me today. I had a lot of fun putting this video together. Let me know in the comments below some items that you are going to try to use from fall that you're going to transition into your Christmas decor. I would love to know. Also give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Make sure you're subscribed. Bye!